what's the good word folks Adam with the Ackleberry and uh, this video is going to be a little bit about the gear that I'm going to be packing or have packed and, and accrued so far uh, for my upcoming trip in I think we're going to start out in Virginia and I think we're crossing over into West Virginia so uh, I've been invited by River Kings Pete of the River Kings to go on a long seven day seven some odd day trip uh, on the new river I think that starts in Virginia maybe it starts in West Virginia I think this one runs south and north I could be wrong but I'm gonna be running with him I think it's about 132 miles or so that he's got mapped out and uh, is, is pretty exciting for me I'm gonna actually fly into uh, Greensboro uh, next month and uh, they're gonna pick me up and and uh, it's, it's gonna be a great time but uh, the, the fun thing about this is, is uh, it's going to be an estate, a state I've never been, two different states I've never been. So I'm actually going to be able to uh, visit two different states uh, by kayak, which is going to be kind of neat. And uh, so states I haven't been in, obviously a river I've never ran in, uh, with some friends of mine that I've actually never met uh, in person, uh, in a kayak I've never been in. Uh, for a length of time I've never done <laughs> so this is gonna make it extremely exciting and uh, lots of new things at one time so I'm gonna try to move from like a I don't know like a greenhorn or whatever you want to call it uh, uh, to uh, quite a bit more experienced um, I expect a lot of good things to come out of this trip um, it's a trip of a lifetime uh, in my mind but uh, anyways enough about that I'm actually gonna show you some of the gear that I've got packed up uh, ready to go and um, a lot of the stuff I have and some of the stuff Pete's going to help me out with but uh, take a look and uh, and uh, see what I got going on this is really to chronicle kind of my trip I mean this is just to start off with the packing process and um, I'll be talking about like the airport and um, hopefully some video uh, of the plane and obviously the trip and so on and so forth so this is just going to be one of, of many in a playlist so it should be good so I'm going to unzip this guy and uh, which I probably did the wrong way yep pretty much and open this up. I'm just going to go through, kind of go through some things that I think uh, I'm going to take. Now, I've only been on an overnight kayak camping trip, so that's you're talking about one night, so maybe two days. And I'm I completely overpacked for that, I'm sure. But this is going to be like a seven day or something like that. I really haven't sat down to calculate out everything about it, but I know it's much longer than one night. Um, but the thing about it is, I'm trying not to take too much luggage, and um, some of the things that I'm going to actually bring. Uh, I'll take with me, but then uh, Pete with the River Kings is going to uh, kind of set me up with some of the other uh, needed items. So some of the things that um, you don't see here, chances are he's got, uh, um, you know, an another one or, or duplicates or probably many, uh, knowing Pete. But uh, anyway, so let's get started. We'll just kind of dig through this, and uh, if I don't happen to say. Uh, a certain thing feel free to kind of comment below what you know your needed item is what what I'm you know you're for sure I'm missing but uh, and again it might be something that uh, Pete's gonna hook me up with so uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through it quickly because we're not gonna make it a laborious type of video but um, I'm pretty excited about the trip and I'm really trying to refine my packing as best as possible and I'm also getting through the airport security uh, all in all in one piece so anyway I probably will end up bringing my uh, my Coleman stove, which uh, is that Coleman Stanley? Stanley. I keep getting that mixed up. My Stanley stove here, and it's got a little carabiner um, fork, spork uh, type of tool on it. And um, I may or may not need that. Uh, I know Pete's gonna let me use. I think a, an extra uh, jet boil, um, or maybe an MSR pocket rocket. I don't remember exactly what he pocket rocket. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what he was saying it was, but um, I think he's gonna let me borrow it. So I, I think it, it may come with the cup thing on top seems like some of them do but if not um, I'll have that guy um, now he kind of gave me a list he emailed me a list of, of some things that I think he thought would be good to take and stuff and, and one of the things on it was a, a good headlamp and um, I have an energizer one that's a uh, one of the things I really like about it uh, uh, of course it just takes batteries it's not rechargeable but the thing I like about it, it has a real nice beam to it um, I used it last time I camped <laughs> and uh, every time I heard a little critter move well I was shining that beam out there but uh, Anyways, it works real good. Uh, it doesn't seem to chew with the batteries a whole lot, so that's positive. Uh, he did say bring times two, so here's just a backup uh, Energizer one. It's not near as, as good, but um, hopefully we don't have to use this one, but um, it's here if we do. Earplugs, just because sometimes, you know, sleeping out there, you hear too many odd noises, you're kind of up, your, your brain's waking up like we don't usually hear this. 
and I'm hopefully it's just for maybe the first night or two, but I'm gonna have these earplugs just in case. Can't go camping without some a uh, little bit of uh, extra added spice in there just in case the mountain house meals and I know I won't need salt on those. But um, I think he's going to let me have some MREs, and um, I really don't know what to expect with those. But in case it's missing some of its uh, seasoning, well, there we go. Of course, I got some dry bags going. I've got, I think, a total of four of them. Got like a travel toothbrush, um, some deodorants. I got these little um, camp towels that are like these UST ones. They just sell them at Walmart for a couple bucks, but they're real flat. Um, These guys are like really flat, but they just got them smashed down into these little um, like checker things. But uh, once you get them wet, they you know open right up, and then you're good to go. But those they're reusable, and so very easy to dry and things. So I thought I'd take them. I mean, if they uh, don't work good, I didn't really lose any money. Can't forget to have have a good little uh, uh, stick of the old chapstick stuff. And I've got some gloves in here. That's really all I've got in here right now. But it'll carry more when I'm actually out and about on the on the water. Um, and now Pete said he had plenty of um, extra spool of cordage, but nothing wrong with bringing my own. I'll put my phone in this little um, phone case. Uh, it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, I won't test that. You won't be seeing me dip it in the water on purpose, but uh, in the off chance that, in the high, li highly likely chance that I go, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna want to keep that boy, bad boy, uh, pretty protected. It'll also be tucked down in my vest as well. Now, I don't really have the best um, hammock. I don't have a top brand name. I think uh, this one's called Blue Sky Hammock. I think it was the first one I bought. And um, I've used it, and it's, it seems to work out well. And so I'll probably be taking that. It's got a bug net attached to it. Um, but of course, it's like a $30 uh, hammock. And so I, you know, I don't want to go out there for seven days, and like on day one, two, three, whatever, um, the hammock splits, and then um, I'm without. I don't really think anybody's gonna let me snuggle in their hammock with them. So I'm actually gonna bring two of them. So my my hammock, uh, my wife's hammock, I'll take those. That way if one goes, because it didn't take up a whole lot of room. If one goes, then I've got the backup, which if I end up needing the backup, I'll be so thankful um, that I brought it. The other thing is, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think that um, Pete was gonna hook me up with like a sleeping bag, because the one I have is enormous. Uh, the only one I have really is for winter sleeping. I think it's like a 30, 20 or 30 degree bag, and so it's very, very thick and very large. And I didn't think it was going to fit uh, here in my little uh, luggage here, so it would take up most of it. So I think he's going to hook up with one. I could be wrong on that, but I bought a um, sleeping bag liner. I just thought that would be the respectful thing to do, um, that way I don't dirty up his sleeping bags. I did end up picking up the um, Kelty Noah's Tarp 12, or maybe it just goes by Kelty 12. Um, and I think it says it's three seasons. Um, people, you know, rave about this tarp. And um, the other ones I had was uh, um, a very uh, bright orange. You may have seen it in my uh, video. It was very, very bright orange. And if these, if we're wanting to maybe even do some stealth camping, which I don't know that we are, but if we did or anything like that, I don't really want my bright orange tarp um, giving us away. So I got the Kelty Note 12. I'm, I haven't used it before, so I'm pretty excited about using it. But I feel confident, based on customer reviews, um, that this is really going to make it. Uh, through the whole week and uh, keep keep my butt dry. Um, I will be bringing a hammock pillow. This was made by my oldest uh, stepdaughter, Josie, and of course she did a fantastic job. I mean, look at that. I did have her take out some of the stuff because she had it she had it loaded, <laughs> but it was a little bit too firm. And this guy right here, I can either use him one way here or if you fold him in half. Um, and I used him on my last camp uh, kayak camping thing. And um, number one, it keeps your head nice and warm because it's got a little bit of insulation in it. And uh, uh, also, uh, really comfortable. So I got to bring that hammock straps, of course. I got lots of clothing. Well, no, not lots of clothing. I got some clothing I'm taking, but everything is everything is um, everything's polyester, and it's real thin. Um, everything is, and so uh, it's going to be easily dryable because I may have to pay the toll. The beast may be hungry. And I may have to pay the beast a toll. I may have to swim. 
so I want to make sure I have something that's going to dry out really, really quick. It's going to be in June stuff, so it's not going to be cold, cold. Um, uh, I think the lows so far when I look is going to be down in the 60s uh, overnight, so I don't think I think I'll be all right. But I, I got some pants uh, that are that are 100% um, polyester that are long. I've got one long poly polyester shirt, and I've got a couple pairs of shorts uh, polyester. That should that should cover me. I do have my enormous like full feature. Um, uh, first aid kit and hopefully we'll have to use it. I am bringing my chair. This is an Ameristep. It's a very nice chair. Maybe you'll get to see, maybe you'll get to see it set up. Um, but I, I, I'm so thankful that I'm going to be able to bring this. It's going to be nice uh, to have this chair. And she's a little beefy, but um, she's a nice one. It, it, it'd be well worth it, especially when it's time to sit down. Wet wipes, of course. And I actually have me some rain gear. These are um, it's like 20 bucks for top and a bottom, so I did going to be bringing those just in case I need them. Extra pair of sunglasses. I need to get some some of those things that hold your sunglasses on, because if I do go over, uh, I really don't want to lose them. What a disappointment that would be. Camera float. This guy will float my camera, the Olympus TGA70, and I, if it'll float that, which I've tested it, uh, actually out in the lake. If it'll if it'll float this, then it'll float my Sony AS20. Um, but I don't want to end up losing that. Um, if it does become disconnected from the boat, uh, which I don't really know how I'm going to uh, mount this because I may be borrowing a kayak. And of course I'm going to have my, I'll be uh, taking my vest with me. Um, I've made sure to go through this. See, look. Extra chapstick. It's a battery in there. I didn't know that. I'll be taking my vest with me. Um, obviously, I love this vest. It's very comfortable. Um, I like how the back part of it is up high, so that way the um, kayak seat fits right in there and doesn't keep you shoved forward. And then, of course, I got a couple different. Um, I got this will be the second five liter one. I had the other one a second ago, the other black one. So that dry bag. And then I've got two 20 liter uh, dry bags to take also. Now I wasn't really sure what I was going to use for shoes down there, and I'm really not 100% that I got the right thing, but um, I know I'm probably going to at least have to have two pair, but these are just some um, like Walmart swim shoes uh, that I got for like 10 bucks and stuff, and um, surely they'll make it the week. Now some of the other little things uh, that I'm going to be bringing along, I just thought I'd touch base on real quick, is of course I got this little knife dude that has like the um, spoon that flips out and the fork that flips out on the other side, but um, Kind of often to ship some of these things early uh, just to kind of avoid any kind of hang ups through the security checkout. Now, some people say that you can put it in your um, baggage, and as long as it's under the airplane, you're okay, as long as you don't have it um, in your carry on. And some people may wonder, you know, what's the big to do about this? Well, it does have um, a knife uh, that's in it as well. And so um, I just don't want, I like to really play it super safe, super um, uh, confident stuff. And since I have it, you know, flown on a plate and, and for and forever and stuff and I know the security's gotten a lot tighter and stuff and I don't really want a um, digital colonoscopy uh, while I'm going through check checkpoints so some of the stuff's actually get shipped earlier and um, for an even more important reason I'll be taking uh, both my RAV power blocks uh, to you know to keep all my stuff uh, uh, probably can't see a black one huh it's my shirt but I got both of these two of these 10,400 milliamp hour RAV power blocks and you can only have two additional fuel cells. Well, I'm already going to have four from my camera, two of these, and of course spare batteries uh, to go along, you know, for my headlamps and things. And so, since I can't bring this and I have to ship it anyway, I'm just getting a flat rate box that I'm going to use, and I'm going to put these in it and um, a bunch of the extras, uh, knives and things of that nature, just to make going through the security points just that much easier. So, the knife that I'm going to take is the Buck. Uh, one, 112 Ranger, which is a very, very nice knife. Unfortunately, it's kind of heavy. But the other buck that I have, and I don't remember exactly what the model of this one is, I think it's like a mini Spitfire. Uh, this guy's super, super light, and I usually have him uh, right on the outside of my life jacket. Um, you know, maybe in the event I go under and um, something hangs me up, like one of my cords or something, then hopefully I can cut through with this, but very easy access and he's very light. So um, I brought two knives because, um, well, I'm hoping not to lose either one of them because I love these knives, but just in case I do, uh, I do want to have a backup. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm not really sure how to hook up my camera to um, somebody else's boat. Um, I don't think it has rails on this one, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have 
um, any other way to mount on it. So in that case, I'm actually going to bring, this is a shoulder uh, shoulder strap mount that I used to uh, when I recorded like on my bike trips. Um, it's not perfect in its, in its, uh, its setup and stuff, of course, so it'll basically end up like riding up here on my shoulder. Which is terrible I have a black shirt on because it's probably just blending right in. But it basically sits on that and I can paddle. Um, and maybe that'll work out okay. The only unfortunate thing about that is is my vest ends up uh, rubbing against it. And sometimes can give a lot of scratch into the video and make the video sound kind of poopy. But um, that may be the option that I have to go with. So, And of course I'm recording with the uh, Olympus TG870 which a lot of people are very, very familiar with. Uh, but the other uh, camera that I'll be using, uh, the other camera that I'll be using is actually my... Uh, Sony AS20, which is a very good action cam. Now, um, the TG870 here is actually waterproof uh, with no case, but unfortunately, the Sony AS20 does need its case uh, in order to be uh, waterproof, which causes its own problems, but it does kind of cut out some of the audio. But um, since it's going to be sitting uh, right on my shoulder, let's see if I can sit down here. Since this guy, it tilt up for me. Since this thing's actually just going to be sitting on my shoulder, the old harness here, this guy is actually going to be right beside me. So it's really going to pick up my vocals uh, very good if, in the case that that's what I end up having to do. So, uh, But it's a good camera, good battery life. I have several batteries for it. And um, so I'll end up uh, using this guy probably for most of the uh, active water trips. Anyways, I'm going to keep you guys updated as I go along, and um, it's getting exciting. Every day that passes, it gets more and more exciting. It's going to be like the trip of a lifetime uh, for me, and um, I'm just hoping nothing comes up between then and now and no acts of God uh, that prevent me from um, seizing the opportunity. So, uh, from Adam with Yackleberry, uh, temporarily, a.k.a. River Gesture, Gest River Gesture, I'm sure is what it'll be, uh, signing off. We'll see you guys.